What's up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the Duder Man Homie Bro Podcast, the hey. uh, DMHB Pod. Cheers. Thank you for joining us. We're here. We're here. Just um, a couple ladies drinking Trulies. Trulies. I am Patrick Kisper. We got Jacob Flores, Scott Ramos, sure. and Rock Dalmu Yo, Lopez. Uh, bear, 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 bear. Bear, 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 bear. Oh, welcome. You did it, kid. You made it on You made it to the big time, huh? You made it to the couch. What an accomplishment. I've made it now. Yeah. <laughs> you would think, like... You were so stoked to come on the podcast. You would think you would show up on time, but yeah. <laughs> but he's he's a good he's a good butt right now. For well, real, pause. I had to do like dad, and you don't even have any kids. Neglect? Yeah, I do. Neglect oh. equals greatness. That's for real, I'll say yeah, I do. I have a two year old son and two stepdaughters. Oh, I didn't. I thought you just had the one. Okay, you got one no. kid basically. Damn, you have a clan yeah. then, huh? I have yeah, two stepdaughters. They were grounded today. I I in, in order to get ungrounded, I made them do a roast battle. A roast battle. Talk- each other? They had to write their own jokes and roast each other. That's pretty awesome. Was anyone good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Run pretty, it. They're pretty brutal. They're pretty. Mom brutal. loves me more. Or <laughs> you're such a <laughs> that. <laughs> no, if I let it go there, it might. Sometimes I'm like, damn, they're gonna fight one day. It's gonna be crazy. How, what ages are they? Eleven and ten. So they're oh. <laughs> Are they the same weight class? Uh, Are they ever watching uh, a fight as this is going on? No, the little one's pretty tough, but the big one is a different weight class. All right. Well, obviously with the big one, then if you're going to say it like that. Well, no, she's not big, but she's just the bigger one. Like, taller. Yeah, taller. Like, so I give it to the tough one. Boys, b- boys had like husky, you know, like when they had like the different levels. Do the girls have husky? Is there like a... Just the lesbians? Oh. No, I'm sorry. Where they wear our clothes? As far as like... Those are called uh, studs. <laughs> uh, but like in clothing brand, you know, like because I had to wear huskies when I was a kid to grow. That's a brand? Had to, not brand, but like a label, like a size, size. label. Yeah. Isn't it called like Torrid now? Isn't there like a big girl store? I don't know. I, I shouldn't know. He's like husky. I don't know. Husky. No, there is. I oh, that's, that's the husky? Torrid is ladies husky? Lizzo chic. Well, it's apparently it's a store. That if that's their demographic, you know, the mm. bigger. Oh, it's like oh. Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant. The store. Yeah. Dude, I used to work for them. As a model? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, but they, they, there was called, it was called King Size. That was the dude one. King Size? Yeah, dude. Bro, all right. So that's the, fr- it was, uh, it was West. That's, it was uh, over by the Forum. That's where I started selling Coke. What what are you talking about? All right, the building the the place was called West. How do we get here? No, no, I know. <laughs> the Lane place Bryant is called the place is called West. But you were a model for Lane. No, Bryant? that's I was customer service, dude. Oh, there's I don't think they do models there like that. No, I don't know. They just had a fit guy in a Tom Brady jersey. So they didn't have so Lane Bryant. They didn't have like dude like Bryant. Yeah, it was called King Size. That was the oh, dude one. King Size. Okay, okay. So I would take the calls from all these people, and they I mean the sizes are crazy. The ordering of the sizes is crazy. Because they got to be modest with it. They can't, like, oh, I'll take a 5X. They got to get, go, like, I got to. No, take, it's, yeah. Uh, I'll take a big king. Uh, and then they had a they had a the one where king. it was, uh, <laughs> it was all, like, the, the they have, like, five of these, two of these, so they push them for sale. Yeah. And they never had anything in their size. But why the f*** is it in the magazine if you ain't going to sell it to me? Yeah. But go ahead. I digress. By the way, Rocky, don't cuss for the first 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. we've, already, right. we've already messed <laughs> cool. that up. Scott, Sorry. Man, I didn't know the rules. I didn't realize you just jumped Scott. right into it. So I was like, oh, right, nah, it's fine. I'll do the editing. <laughs> Scott's always like, I'll do I'll, better. I won't cuss. I won't cuss. And all the edits are always Scott. All right, I'll stop. Oh, Start now. No, nah, that's fine. Restart the episode. I'm to go. But uh, Rocky, so, so, I, can, I said Rock Dolomy. That was a joke. Uh, nobody got it, I guess. But what, what's the what is the full what's Rocky? What's on your birth certificate? What's on your uh, birth certificate? Oh, and your social security number? <laughs> no, my first name is Angel, and then my middle name is officially Rocky. It's on my birth certificate, Official. so it's Angel Rocky Lopez. Why'd God. you go by Angel Lopez? That sounds like a porn star. Mm, I don't know. I think it just uh, my whole life I was called Rocky, so that just kind of dude that's an official last name. Angel Rocky. Angel Rocky Lopez. Yeah, that's a fighter's name. Yeah. A Rocky Angel. That sounds like a porn star's name. Yeah. I don't know anything about, about, about porn stars, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, cool, man. Yeah, thanks for coming to the pod. Yeah. And you, thanks for having me. You officially just popped your uh, main room cherry. Oh, uh, yeah. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, talk about it. Congrats. Did uh, Raul's Revolver Comedy at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club doing the main room. Yes, sir. 
No, right. it wasn't. <laughs> no, but that wasn't, good, huh? <laughs> no, no, it was awesome. I, I wasn't sure. No, the main main stage. I don't know if that was Revolver, but I did do Revolver, and then I did the the Father's Day show, which was pretty good in the main. Oh room. my oh. bad, my bad. Okay, yeah, it was uh, Rose's official show, his Raja. headliner show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you so you did a guest spot on that? Yes, sir. That was your first time on the main stage. On the main stage, first time I did guest spot seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. How'd it go? It went well. Um, I was nervous as hell, but overall, it still, it still went really well, and uh, I can't complain. Yeah, dude. So. Who's all on the show? Do you know? It was Edward Hernandez, yeah. Mike Suarez. Hell yeah. Uh, me and then Raul. Yeah, we've had that whole set. We had that whole crew here. We haven't had uh, Edward. Oh, Edward. I forgot. We were gonna, and then his... He got hurt. Yeah. It's f- Is he walking now? He's on no, both he's feet? No, he's still on the crutch, crutching it up there. Damn, old man. What's funny is like you always see like Edward like out there biking it up, skating, and then last time I saw him, he had like a big old boot on, <laughs> freaking like a, a street fight or something. Yeah, this is what I told you. You got to do a fight, dude. <laughs> I didn't even know you got injured or something. Yeah, he's, yeah, dude, he's he's hobbling. He's been uh, hobbling for like, almost three months now. Dude, months. the way he said wow. it was so cool. I was like, dude, what happened? He messed he was, up his oh, ankle. Throwing uh, down. I was yeah, like, yeah. Uh. But cool, man. So yeah, you finally got like how long have you been doing it, doing comedy before you got to the hit uh, uh, main room? Officially, I just hit like thirteen months, but it's basically a year. But I don't want to be like those people. Like, how old is your kid? And they're like eighteen months. Eighteen months. Well, you just did it. You're like, yeah, like you 13 just said thirteen months. months. <laughs> I know, so I, know, but I did. I'm, like, I'm yeah, alive, but fuck. I think I heard that right. <laughs> I didn't want to be like those people, but I was. That's what I meant to say. Thirteen months. Why do you say officially? What makes it unofficial? Three hundred and ninety-four days. Because doing the, from oh. the day I literally started, that's how long it's been. And since the day I started, I've been going up like three times a week. Yeah. For the last year, and um, yeah, I got to do that, and it's, that's how long it's been a year. Hell yeah! Cool, man. Yeah, man. Nice. It's all about taking, uh, being patient, man. I know, I know, like uh, a lot of like newbies, they want like, oh, put me, headline me or like you know, book me at your club it's or whatever. A, it's just like, man, like you gotta really have patience with it. You do. You gotta put the work in. I know there's no shortcuts, but like, it's also that thing. Like, I, you're, for me, I was really, I'm really eager. I think I'm funny. I, I'm really eager to prove that and to get to like because you say like you know you don't i don't want to fall in that just be a open micer that that's what i'm happy doing i want to be around you guys like the real the real deal and, and prove myself and push myself and that's you surround yourself with what you want to be and wait, that's wait, why wait 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 you, you think i'm like them yeah well <laughs> they're my coat they're my coattail riders I what are you talking you guys, about <laughs> <laughs> i'm the star of this thing no but you know what i mean just they're guys, here bringing me down and stuff I'm just like, check your boy out dog <laughs> i keep them around them to keep me humble you know because <laughs> the help yeah if i didn't have them i'd be all debo in there you know yeah. like king from the south <laughs> you know like that's south a shot because he burned us today now south side king uh, that's what I'm gonna start calling myself, the Southside King. Of yeah, it, I, I tried to, I talked to Deep about it, but like, yeah, like, how come you're not really humble? He's like, F- that man, like, if I'm, if uh, nobody's gonna blow you up if you don't blow yourself up. And I was like, I guess that kind of makes uh, sense, but there's a, there's a balance. Uh, if you, if you're not, if you're too humble, like, people, like, one time, I was, this dude was like, suck your own little bit and i was like all right i guess nah. but then if you're if you're too cocky people if you're too confident people see it as cocky and then some people like debo just don't give a f- they just call themselves the king he calls himself the king and i mean like yeah no, he, i think but he was beating himself up for some no no you just it was before the upstage show yeah with you were, me kinda, you jordan yeah you're kind of like well you got this and i was like yeah yeah i think i got it and then i got off and you're like dude what the f-? like you got this like and then you're oh he would have intimidated that was it. it well, was, but it was his show. I just get nervous, and I don't, li- I don't like to be like, yeah, I f- and then I go up there and f- bomb. So I was just telling you, like, hey, suck, suck your f- a little bit. That's it. Can I get one? Dude, I'm so lost. What are you talking? Are y'all talking a conversation or what? About a show that we had did. Oh. No, about But com- you got to understand, we're, like doing, we're doing this for listeners, so like details and all that stuff might be. He did, upstage. Oh, okay. His show? Yeah, because we went into confidence and then how you, there's a balance. Like, if you're too confident, people think you're cocky, and then if... If you're not confident enough to just do, some people are like, you need to be. There's a there's a healthy balance for sure. I mean, like obviously you have to be confident enough to like confident enough to go on stage in front of strangers and do this stupid sh- do. Like you have to convince yourself like this uh, this is well within my my realm, my wheelhouse type of thing. But also it's also beneficial to like always say like, oh man, I could do better. Oh yeah. I yeah. could do better. Like 
I, I've never said, oh, I killed, oh, I murdered this crowd, and all that stuff. Like, that's, it's always so weak to me, or weird and weak, when I see people post stuff like that. And I'm like, sure, maybe they had a really great show, really great show. Who, Patrick? And then when I finally, like, uh, when I finally see them in front of, like, a crowd of, like, people that aren't their friends, that aren't, like, doing the fake laughing and stuff, and they're just, like, eating a bag of dicks, not knowing, not knowing, like, well, this is the real thing. They're like, this is, like, the real, what are you laughing at? Because <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, good for them. I'm glad they have, like, their, their friend group and all that stuff. But, like, stop... I don't know. I think when I get to, <laughs> I, I think when you get to a certain point, like like if you're a certain point, oh. yeah. But like for someone like me, I under like if you're six months and you killed and you're happy, like fuck yeah, okay yeah. But. There's no way, and there's no way anybody under two years has killed anything. What's crazy is when it's you're impo- like, you don't like, think so? It's impossible. I I, I, no, I mean like he means he's saying fucking leveled. He yeah, leveled uh, the room. I, I think it's possible. Some people are just like naturally funny. I think it's happened before. I don't think there's like no way it's ever not happened. I don't. I don't think so. I think you you had a good set. Yeah. But like you know what? No one. Nobody under two years should ever say like, "Oh, I fucking well, killed." Well, well that's different. For yeah, their, that's for, different. for their like it's situational for them. Like, but see in that's, that situation. But that's the whole thing. Then you're changing the goalpost. Well, if if you're for your situation, for your situation, oh, I killed. Well, then. You're changing the definition for yourself. Like, yeah, oh, I killed for somebody who's only been doing this for six months. You know? Yeah, yeah. It should be like, it should be... Universal. Across the board, universal, same but thing. But it's subjective, too. So, like, what's the official definition for killed? Like, everybody's going to... Leveled. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you have the room rolling. I might... Still subjective, I think. But, I like, you don't know any... You don't know any of those people? And you get them rolling? Like, yeah. that's... That's something. Yeah, yeah. if you should, I, 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 you feel me? Yeah. But I mean, I can make my fucking mom laugh. Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. If she's in the room, yeah, you know, she's always gonna laugh at my shit. I made his mom laugh last night. <laughs> you know whose mom I made laugh a lot? Dylan's mom at the Black Coffee. <laughs> we, Say it right, we Black Rifle. Black Coffee. African Black, American <laughs> Rifle Company. We did a show at the Black Rifle. Sorry, yeah, yeah. details. I forgot. Black Coffee. People are gonna watch this. I'm not used to this shit. Yeah, it's good for information. Give information. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that, actually. Does uh, nobody agree with that? Like, the whole, like, killing is, like, you're... you're I think you and I are on the same page. You're no, taking you away worded the, it differently the, the second time. Like, you should not say you did it in, uh, like, to be humble aspect of things and yeah. being real. The and first being, part made it sound like you said nobody's ever done it. Or, yeah. like, it, sh- it can be done. It seems like that's what you said. It can. I'm like, ah, I can't. No, part done. one sounded like it's never been done. I'm just, and then the second part sounded like you... As a second year, you should never say you're that good. Like all the greats of comedy, it probably crushed it within two years of them starting. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like I some people are just crazy naturally funny. Like Bernie, you don't think Bernie Mac or like Chappelle or Rock? Within or, two years? Yeah. Chappelle at 14 was killing at... At the at, park? At the pork. At the park? At the pork? At the pork. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm... I'm <laughs> For a nominees like that, maybe, yeah, within a year, two years, they were killing. But for the normal people, for, like, the local mm-hmm. scene. Oh, no, yeah. Well, okay, that's different. Yeah, I've yeah. seen I've seen people, like, post, uh, killed, murdered, uh, and then I was like, oh, man, because I haven't seen them on stage. And then when I do see them on stage doing their thing, I was like, it was the audience's fault. This is what you do? <laughs> like, this is what you do? No, and I've been to places, too, where I will see them get off stage after, like, not doing good, go on Facebook and post, just killed at LOL, just killed yeah. at the open mic. I was like, man, that's so if that's what you think is trying killing. Trying to keep the image alive. But, but what, what's the point of that, of lying to people, if it's not the true thing? Like, you're just get, getting, like, Congratulations stuff for not actually accomplishing this shit. And it's like just participation trophy bullshit. And it's really, it's hurting the scene. I think it's hurting the scene when people are like too uh, in their ass about like, when they're like too, so young in, two, three years in. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense for you to be in, in your ass. And it doesn't make any sense for you to come off like, oh, we're changing up the game. Like, <laughs> we're revolutionizing comedy. <laughs> when I was like, dog, you don't even know the rules. How are you going to yeah. revolutionize something that you don't even understand? It bothers me. I hear that. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. No, that's fine. Well, well, the only reason it bothers me is because, like... It does make the scene look weak. I it do does. I do wish we had a, a, a scene of murderers. I like, do wish we like had, Houston. like... Like Houston. Houston's yeah. Houston's just... 
bangers, dude. Yeah. Well, are we Shout trying? To, are we tr- are we trying to get there? Aren't we trying to get there? No, because we're bullshitting each other. And we're bullshitting each other, and we're like we're like congratulating people for doing weak shit at elbow room. Or yeah. just anywhere, nah. just anywhere. It, yeah, well, I don't think Elbow Room is a, the Elbow Room is not the exception. Well, there's a lot of mics, but there's there's not really a lot of quality places to go up there and test your comedy. But that's where you test your comedy is the bullshit. Oh no, don't get me wrong. I'm at bullshit mic three times a week. We real, the shit we do sometimes. But no, but what I'm saying is, is I mean, sometimes you do it every Friday at but midnight. Ke- oh fuck. <laughs> Look, it's a comedy podcast. That was <laughs> hey, <laughs> just want to let you know where I'll be this Friday night. Um, oh, this will be out next week. So oh, you'll, probably, well, you'll probably still be there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Daddy, put the gun down. <laughs> it's a comedy no, podcast. We're, right, having, right, we're having man. fun. I wouldn't fuck with you if I didn't don't, like you. No, so. I don't even see it as that. It's, it's, it's cool banter. Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly what you said. You wouldn't fuck with me if you didn't like it. But it, it, would, just, it, would, be, it would be nice if like every room was like, was like Houston. Because like Houston, well, even though they have... They're a bigger city. They're more con- concentrated, of course. They have more people. So the odd, the average of, of, of them being a better comic is not within our, our league. We're they completely have, two different leagues. What do you they mean do have of- bad mics just like every other city. Like, oh, yeah, everybody But has. when you go to like the secret group and it's like a showcase, usually everyone up is like doing murder good. After, murder after murder after murder after yeah. murder. Also, what do you mean? Like, what exactly by bullshit? Like, just because you're... These guys that are getting congratulated for really doing nothing, or yeah, shoot, that kind of bullshit that they're doing on because stage, that, yeah. and they're charging money. That sets the mentality of like, oh, oh, I am doing well, so I'm just gonna keep doing this same old bullshit, never going up. Well, a lot of people don't have self awareness; they really think they're doing well. It's a lot of delusion yeah. to do stand up comedy, but uh, and you're not doing anybody any favors. I mean, like people like think I'm like an asshole about being like real with shit, but like. I I want you to be good. It's I necessary. want you to be yeah, better. It's coming from a good yeah. place. Because yeah, no, I hear that. If we're gonna be on the same show, I want you to be the best you could be. But if you're selling in for like killing in front of your friends, no. uh, you know, like you're not gonna no, no. be a good show. And that's yeah, that's what part of why I'm trying to get in front of like test myself in the real environment because uh, yeah, like I said, dude, it's one thing to make these people laugh, but I want to make these people laugh and these people laugh, and I want to I want to be in the hardest environments and do well. There's nothing worse than when you see somebody post a clip and you could you know who's laughing. Like you could tell oh, by their laugh. That's my laugh in the back. Who's laughing? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> like it's just like, oh man, like I don't know, man. I, and and again, like a lot of people will disagree with me and think Which that I'm just think, being an asshole about I, it. No, I just I'm think not, people are sensitive and that is a common theme in San Antonio comedy where it's like, oh, I killed it. I just crushed. I just but, did this. But it's like, And they oh. also think because I have the opinions that I have that I'm anti the scene. You're anti the scene. You're anti them. It's like, and no, I'm, dude. Like, I'm, it's necessary. I'm not anti the scene. So, I love this scene. So, I just wish we were like all push ourselves and all a, like being hard on ourselves to like be the most entertaining, so, funny scene so what's possible. what's the solution? Like people need to be real and people like like be honest with each other and like be honest with ourselves. Well, yeah, I hear that. But I like, think it's more be honest with yourself because you're gonna be a dick every time you go up to someone new. Like, yo, that was dog shit. They need to know that what they did was dog shit. But also that <laughs> I hear a bunch of stories. I wasn't around in the old days, but I hear a bunch of stories. Like that's what made people either figure out whether or not they wanted to keep coming back and being in this circle, like uh, busting balls. Yeah, People don't bust yeah. balls no, anymore. Well, no. see that, but, they, but they do, and then they don't get... Some people, that approach doesn't no, like, work. It used to be bad, dude. But some, that approach doesn't work with everybody, and then usually if you're the person doing that, you're seen as the bad guy. Yeah. Like, if you're the person talking shit and telling the people that believe they're one thing that they ain't shit or trying to knock their ego down, you're like, oh, you're the bad guy. It's but, fun. it's cool though because I remember uh, like re- a couple of mics ago at LOL I had to follow Debo and like he comes up to me like as we're passing each other from on on and off stage he goes follow that bitch <laughs> 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 so I, I fucking loved that that was cool <laughs> it was fucking cool you know so it's like it's necessary it's like, I don't necessary think, it, I don't think he's a dickhead I don't think like you see, know but I like, think Jakey could take a punch he could take a joke Jakey yeah. gets it. Some people don't. He can take. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. It's more, can more, take a few more of them can't yeah. take it. Yeah. yeah. Like you can tell. Like Jakey grew up with like dudes. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little aggressive. Um, but like, so talking shit doesn't mean anything to him. But we should all be able to take it. Like, if, like, no. 
We no, we should all be able to take. I it. agree. I think, but that's not the case. No, well, yeah, obviously it's not the case. Because I, no, thing. I'm not arguing with that. You're wrong. No, what I'm saying is, is there's not not everyone's him. They can't take if you talk shit to him, it, it will crush them. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking potential offing. No. Nah. Some people. I mean, some people get it. Some people don't. It's. It's. I don't know. That's my opinion. Uh, but I think that's what like helps us separate from from, I mean, real normal audience members is that like we talk differently, we approach, we think differently, we approach each other differently, and we we get that by busting balls, by being honest, by like challenging people, in in like. I mean, don't, don't, I wouldn't go out and say, like, man, you should, you're dog shit. You should really <laughs> quit. <laughs> like, I've jokingly said, I think a lot of sh- people should quit. There's no, I don't have a list of people that I think should quit. I do. I have. Yeah. That, but, that, but that's jokingly. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll, I'll put it out there. And it's people that understand that, that also understand the history of comedy and stuff. Like, all the New York comics when Patrice was around, like, it was probably brutal. You've heard stories, you've seen YouTube stories, podcast stories about, like, it was. Brutal, like you should quit, like legit. Oh, the real shit talking, yeah, people. yeah, like the real legit shit talking that would yeah. hurt your feelings. But you're just like fuck it, like you just bu- it's busting balls. It's busting it's balls. It, it makes you stronger. Well, it's 2024. That's that's happening less and less. To, it, it shouldn't be a part of this. <laughs> it's a part of every. I mean, that's just something that should have went away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't know. And then it's just like the the whole uh, roast mics or roast battles. Oh, speaking of those. Things. And improv. Like, just, I mean, improv just means, like, you, you can't write a fucking joke. And roast is. It means it doesn't. It, are you sure? I mean, yeah, but it's like. And roasting muscle. is just like, oh, you're, ju- you're just. <laughs> what? True. Fuck fucking unapologetic pat tonight boy <laughs> it's just talking just it's how you these, let that go it's this bitch improv <laughs> slaver you can't write a fucking joke that's what improv <laughs> is you're just bro you're in making, the background you should have like hit him up by tupac playing <laughs> improv you're just making it up on the fly which it should be like uh, something that you do put in your Ooh, sets it could be but f- you shouldn't make your set all about like it's a fun muscle to work out like you know what i mean yeah it's but necessary that's what, you can get up there and bullshit really good i hate that what? You he get up bullshit? there and can bullshit, like, <laughs> not even say a joke. You just fucking start bullshitting. He, he oh. can bullshit? You mean crowd work? Yeah, crowd work. <laughs> say that, yeah. dude. That was, you can get up there for, that. like, five minutes and <laughs> not say <laughs> any <bullshit>. jokes. <laughs> yeah. Like, for five whole minutes, he doesn't say any jokes. <laughs> like, that's his brand. Yeah, I've been yeah. bullshitting for two years, dog. <laughs> bullshit, a.k.a. crowd work. <laughs> Glad you put it together. Yeah. No, well, like the Black Rifle Comedy Show. I was talking to them off mic the other like, don't do night. Jokes. We did the... Um, show like Jake said he leveled. Did he level? Shut the fuck up! I did not say that. Uh, but like, there was like a handful of people in the crowd, and then some people went up and just went into straight material. It's like, yeah, why are you doing that? Like, talk to the crowd, acknowledge the situation. Well, that like, was your experience there, right? you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, what are you? What are you gonna do your full ten minutes set list for? Like, no, just talk to the people. I don't know. Yeah, when it's a small crowd, you have to adjust and adapt and all that stuff, and like just get out of like the whole uh, routine, robotic, you know, like. Yeah, got uh, me fired up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I just let's talk some more shit, pal. Spicy pack, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't I really want to beat up. I'm <laughs> not even talking shit. I just like I want us to be a fucking strong thing. What's so wild is like I don't know how old this clip was, but Ali Sadiq was talking to somebody about comedy while how come you're not in New York? How come you're not in L.A.? He's like, man, like, I'm in Texas. People come to me. Yeah, like, I, I could do 30 minutes in Austin every night, you know. The the hitters in, in Texas is Houston, Dallas, San Antonio. And I was like, dude, like, I wish that was true. That's, that's not really. Like, we held our own. That's not really fucking true. But, like, I'm glad, like, it's, he didn't, like, mention Austin. Because it also is just, like, a bunch of, like, uh uh, travelers like uh, well, you can't blame it now. It's like LA now. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, and it, it, and it's. I mean, there are some great comics there in, are, in there Austin are, for sure, but I mean, there's also like just shock, you know, yeah. humor stuff. But you think stop stopping to just lie to each other? If you're more honest, that's the whole solution. What if there's just a lot of shitty comics? That could be true too. Well, yeah, because no, nobody's just like. I mean, I think everybody. I think everybody that I've seen has potential, potential. To, to be good. 
there's nobody I, that I could think of. Yes, I do talk shit. Oh, I wish you would quit. Blah 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 on the podcast. But these are all jokes. This is a comedy podcast. But like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank you for the numbers. <laughs> Uh, Twitter, not uh, Spotify, YouTube, uh, subscribe, Baba Cold Core. But like, if you've if you've done well, there's no reason you can't do it again. You know what I mean? Like you've you yeah, done strike. well it's one not time. Not like striking gold once. Yeah, like if you struck gold once, you could you could do it again. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like everyone has has had like a good set probably before. I don't think there's anybody that has a joke that I'm like that doesn't have at least one joke where I'm like, all right, that is something. Yeah. Whether it's funny or not, but that could be something. Yeah. What's different is like like you you, you can't like uh make it equivalent to people that go to the gym. Because those are obvious results. You see the difference in their body and their yeah, muscles, yeah, yeah. they're losing weight, they're gaining whatever. Like Zach Savage. All that stuff. <laughs> but because like there's nothing physically to look at Love you, Zach. There's nothing physically to look at as far as like comedy, when you or lie to yourself or when you or when the people around you lie to you about like oh man you're really you're figuring it out you're toning up you're bulking up all that stuff when people in the gym like you're hurting them because people start believing like oh i'm i'm fucking king shit already you know let's like, meet in the sauna <laughs> I, just, I just don't get the analogy pat bringing up a, phys, a, a gym analogy I know it didn't really make sense. I haven't. I don't know what the gym <laughs> no, looks like. Kidding. It kind of did. I, I no, felt like it was good. It. it was solid. Yeah, I'll a plus it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, there's, there's, with comedy, there's really no proof unless you're there in the room. So I don't understand. Well, it's just not. It's, it's not my thing to do to go on social media and like announce to people who weren't there how well you did. How <laughs> well I did. Or, you know, like, take shit, take a picture from, like, a, the perfect angle to look at, like, to not show all the empty tables and, like, crowded, the killer crowd, man, almost sold out, <laughs> capacity crowd. Rocky was, like, trying to do that <laughs> at yeah. the Black Rifle show. No, I was like, I, was, like, I messaged you? him. I saw his story. I messaged him. I said, show the crowd. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, be honest with it. Like, show, show like, all the fucking dirty parts of it. <laughs> Because like when people like see you do comedy, like they're just like, oh man, that's awesome! Like it's like you have no idea. Like I drive, I drive out to, like to San Marcos to perform in front of four people. Yeah, dude. You know, it's part of it. And okay, it, you don't post the bad, but you don't post the good either. So you don't post the good, you don't post the bad either. Yeah, you just don't post anything. Um, I mean, I, I post some clips, but um, I I never like oh killed it, blah blah blah. Like I'm very hard on myself. I do the shout out really. That's it. Yeah, if it's a good night, I always like it. Was the crowd was great, the crowd was awesome. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm very hard on myself because it's always gonna make me better. Like try harder the next time. Yeah, and I hear that. It's, uh, it's nothing worse than being overconfident when you don't have the the things that should make you confident. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we and know it, what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm not trying to like to pinpoint anybody. I'm just saying like I'll pinpoint someone. There's someone who posts in the comedy group pages like it's their own personal Facebook page. Oh. <laughs> Doug, oh. it's annoying. Oh. Just visit it. Just visit the San Antonio oh, comedy. Page. I do know who you are talking this about. Is, oh, bro, episode, like what are you? Uh, I just watching. What are you doing about going to jail? I know who you are talking about. What? Well, it's it's fun. <laughs> yeah, let Chandra live, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let him live, dog. Hey, Hi, everybody. Funny. Come. Uh, this Saturday. Nah, Chandra's cool. I hope he yeah. finds his dot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, the first time I heard him do that, I was like, this motherfucker, yeah. dude. But I, I don't know, man. I mean, like, do you, do you think it's rough? Do you think it's hard? Like, uh, what are your opinions? To, yeah, what are your opinions on this scene? As somebody who's 13 months in? Oh, yeah, man. No, actually, <laughs> 394 I mean, days. Years. Officially, 94 13 days. months in. Uh, officially 13 months 12 hours, in. 32 seconds. Um, uh, opinions on just the scene? Or? Yeah, like how do you th- how do you think it is? Well, yeah, I I do think there's a I have my opinions on a lot of the comedians out there, like who I think is good and not. Um, Who's I do not. Think, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> go, go, name go. names. Go go no, no, go go go. Um, but I I do think there's a lot there's there's a hierarchy to everything, and I think we're kind of separated. Like you got your open open micers, you got your in the middle, and then you got your okay guys that made it. But <laughs> well, okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, 
Spilling. Ew. <laughs> like that, I'm like the asshole. Spicy. I'm the asshole. All right. Oh, okay, <laughs> That's interesting. Who's <laughs> No, it's hard. It's hard to break in because you have these guys that are wanting to learn and, uh, you know, they're not the best and <laughs> they want to get those. Like I said, there's lack of quality mics for people to test their material. It's cool to do a mic in front of four people and you get maybe they laugh. And you, but you want to really test yourself in the real environment. I think the real environments are honestly the easiest environments to make people laugh when you have a 40, 50 people crowd like those are easy. Yeah, LOL is kind of a softball. No, the four is hard. The four is fucking tough. The four is hard. The four is where you grit your teeth. The yeah, four is where yeah, you but, get but, better, bro, stronger. Wherever you think we are in that little hierarchy, do you not think we've done that? No, no, you've done that. Everyone has done everyone, that. But, everyone, everyone. But the, the people on even the, the lower, okay the people too. on the lower level are wanting to to test their stuff, and it's they want. How do you get better? Okay. Like if you hang around a, better people. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you're if you if you're in a certain league and you want to get better and you've plateaued, you're like, I, okay, I mind. You, how do I get better? I gotta get. I gotta jump to. That oh, next see league. now this is where Pat comes in, where he's talking about now we're busting balls. Yeah. If you can get in the circle and shut the fuck up and just take the ass whooping, you'll get better. I'm down. I'm. I'm no, I'm telling you, like really. Yeah, yeah. What it me is, too. Is, I agree with that. I'm from. I know. Pay your dues, you know, prove It's yourself. not even that. Like, they're, they're not going to book you for anything. They're no, not trying no. to. But, hey, they get to see that you're but, actually but, a cool person. Yeah, but there was And things, then you can talk shit. Okay. Then you get booked. But there's times where you, there's nepotism. And no matter how funny you think you are, no matter how funny you actually are, you're not going to. Sometimes you just won't get an opportunity. Like. They just no, you, you'll get an opportunity. No, they see they see your new your new. We've paid our dues. We've been in for ten years. Like fuck you. Like like you. Got- Dog, but that's for the older guys. That's something they can hold on to. That gets them a couple more road gigs. If it's undeniable and you're like, that's the thing. Undeniable. Dogs. That's why I've been telling myself this whole. Funny is funny. It doesn't yeah. matter. But you got to give. Well, how do people on the next level give know you're funny if there's. They, you know, Bro, you'll beat, you'll meet each other. You'll always meet each other. It Keep takes time. Head. I know you got to get to that point and build up, but it's just like, you're. It really is a marathon, dog. It, it, is, it's it, a, it really is it's a marathon. About, it's all about patience. Keep your head down. All that Keep stuff, you know. Like you can't, you can't worry about like, oh, how come I don't have what they don't have and all this no, stuff. No, no, like no, no, yeah. for being thirteen, I I didn't do LOL in thirteen months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it took me about uh, almost two years, about two years, uh, well, seventeen months. Uh, <laughs> before I got to LOL, so like take pride in that stuff. I mean, like I be, do, be patient, do. but also like. But I just won't post it on Facebook again. No. Post on Facebook, you can't like, uh, you, but you didn't. You kept it real. You said like just yeah, all you said was uh, bust my chair in the main stage. I don't think you said murder. Yeah, yeah, we're not talking about you. Yeah, we're not talking. Like, about you. but that's dope. If you left it at that, like, oh, I finally fucking got yeah. it. That's yeah. fucking sick. Yeah, because I was happy about it. Because no, honestly, fuck yeah, dude. you should be. Yeah, like my should. Dad, that's a big step, dude. Well, my dad's older. He was there and he saw it. And he was like badass, and that was huge. That's a dope. Fuck moment. yeah, bro. Yeah, that's a dope. Fuck yeah. Don't a, cry though. It was on Father's Day. Now, hell no. He it was cry. on Father's Day. No, but you got a whore. You got a whore. You ain't gonna cry for your dad. Nah, hell no. Not on camera. <laughs> no, I mean I'm I'm like But yo, know, that, that'll make you better, I think. Yeah. Seriously. Enjoy enjoy the, the process, enjoy like just but just know it's gonna take a long time. But oh, yeah, yeah. like when these opportunities come around, it's gonna mean that much more because you were patient, you did, you know, oh, yeah, XYZ, yeah, yeah. you you know, you didn't take any shortcuts and all that stuff. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Uh-huh. But also just know like it's a fucking long road. It's a grind. Dude. It's it a long road. Like doesn't mean anything. Love is a long road. Tom Petty. No, I, I, I'm learning. I'm noticing that. It's like, man, you, before, like the guys that aren't making it really kind of getting noticed, you feel like, it's like, man, they've been doing this shit 10 plus years. Like, it helps to be a doer in comedy. Do it. Do, do a room. Like start a mic. Do something. Like, you know what I mean? Be a doer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And my alcoholic and me, Thank you. me, can I revoke my third and yeah, final beer no, option? Thank fine. you so much. Can right? I have Thank Pat's you. third? And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is my last one. He's driving. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it helps. Like you know, but that, uh, like it's it's funny that you brought it up. The whole nepotism thing. Like I understand how that could look. Like oh well, like you just know about this person, or y'all just work with the same people. I've I've gotten that like oh well you just work you work with the same people you book the same people I book the same people because I know what they can do I know that they like if I put them in front of an audience they, whether it's a dark show a late show a clean show I know that they're gonna give the audience a good show 
So, yeah, I do kind of fuck with a small circle or deal with a small circle or rebook the same small circle. But I'm also like, I'm concerned about the audience. I'm really not booking yeah, like. You want them to laugh, yeah. Yeah, you're man. putting it on the show. You want it to be a good show. Yeah, it, like they spent money because people's time is important to me, time man. And like, money. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's a big thing, and so I, that's what I hate when people shit on the crowd. I was like, dog, they don't have to be here. Stop shitting on the crowd because Jacob. you're not putting on a good show. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did you like, ever do that? I did that. I did that. I did yeah. that at the very beginning. Like around my ten months. I did that. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, y'all are wrong. Huh? You know what I mean. I would, I would turn on the audience bad. Dude. I don't even try to talk. To I think guy. it was Lafar that hit me. Lafar or George. It was Lafar or George Anthony. Yeah, it's just like yeah. Don't don't get angry at the audience. Don't get like don't call anybody out uh, because like you got to understand like they don't have to be. That was like here. one of the first things I was told. I think you might have told me that like don't. We're, it might have been. Uh, I don't know. And that's good thing. because like when someone like thinks you're funny like they'll take the time to tell you something if they like you and if they fuck oh, with yeah, you like yeah. you know what i mean like those that advice you get from people who've been doing it longer than you and who are like actually funny like that's that's everything like that's dope like you know i've gotten advice from like people that i respect it's, and admire it's and always it's cool, cool to when your peers that you respect <laughs> and think nice. are funny tell you like hey I, good job i think that was good and i'm like oh, all right cool hell yeah yeah man and like raul knows who you, who's you are or who you are yeah, he yeah. gave you a guest spot on his show on his headlining show that's a big thing man yeah yeah hell so yeah. just like take those wins and like don't worry about like what you don't have just Appreciate what you do have, man. Yeah, I'm learning that. It's learning experience, learning a lot along the but, way. But I mean, I understand because, like, not not to talk shit, but like, you came into this like pretty pretty old, right? Like, yeah. What when did you start? How old were you when you started? Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yeah. See, I started when I was thirty five. That's part of the reason too, where I'm like, I don't got a lot of fucking time. Like, yeah. I'm trying to cut that in half. I'm not trying to. Yeah. You know, uh, so I get that be whole, on the grind for ten years and be, for sure. I get that whole impatient stuff, but also like that mindset. That, I mean, that's. That's on you. That's on nobody else. You know, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you showed up to the party late. That's that's on you. That was on me. You know, I mean, I was. What, what well, I'm just gonna try harder to get in certain doors, like than other people, and I'm gonna try and prove myself and put in the work. Were you in bands and stuff? Like, what were you doing, like performing wise before? No, I never did shit. I was completely, utterly terrified. Like, before I even went up for the first time, I, I thought about it for a very long time and practiced and wrote and practiced. And I, I still, yeah, I never did anything like okay. that. No bands, no theater, nothing like that. Cool. Just a whole lot of fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Not really that either, but yeah. <laughs> Those are stepkids. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't his fucking. <laughs> the little bit of fucking that yeah. one. Solid. That was, see, that's a solid ball bust. That was a solid ball bust. I'll take it. That's funny. See, that was unintentional. I didn't even know that I did a joke. That's, that's, that's how good I am. <laughs> mm. Nah, man. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't got, know. He's still hanging out with Jacob. No. <laughs> he looks up to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you need those little ponds too? Huh? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. That's what this podcast is all about. <laughs> I'm fucking googling something right now, and I don't know what y'all said, but I don't like it. <laughs> nah, that's cool. No, nah, I was gonna say Dean Del Rey. That's that's the dude who started late in his career, and uh, he's made something of himself. Like, but fuck. wasn't he doing shit before? Yeah, he was. He was in bands. He was in. He's he was doing shit, but like started comedy like and i remember he, i like him I, I like him a lot he like kept all the spots he did like year after year and like he, he really took it seriously and posted this is how many mics i did this year in the pandemic and yeah blah, blah, blah. so like there's hope man i felt i felt well, bad because i go, go ahead go ahead i'm dating a girl your age no <laughs> yeah well that's the cool thing too is like i learned a lot and, about, and especially about what you're saying too just it's gonna take time and patience but like for me there i don't have um it's not like win or lose whether I make it or not. Like I'm just like I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna give it the best shot, and whatever happens, happens. And that's where that's the way I see it. Like, I think you do it long enough, something will come of it, right? Yeah. If yeah. you like it, and if you're good, and I think so because they think there's a lot of funny, not not unfunny, famous people that made it. You have a real fucking bone to pick with people that like made it but are just okay. Let's talk about not it. Not made it, but just okay. But like who? Oh. I don't have a bone to pick with them. I just Scott? don't. You th have an opinion of somebody that made it in any kind of that you don't think is funny, like so an A-lister. Like you can say Amy Schumer, she made it. She's not. Oh, funny. there's some I do she's not funny. get. 
Really? Bro, every comedian is yeah. funny. They're, they're funny. There's a, or, I guess, but see, it's there's subjective. a funny bit in any okay, special. It's, I'm it's not subjective. saying it's gonna be special. Like it's not gonna be the greatest shit you've ever seen. Who no, is God, the but most, you'll find something funny. Who is the most famous person you think that's not funny? There, it wouldn't be a comedian. All right. Every comedian is funny. See, even people like shit on Jeff Foxworth. Take the hick out of it. Uh-oh. Those jokes are well fucking written. Yeah, Foxworth is They're great. fucking funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, you t- who's who do you like? That not like Amy like Schumer, not famous. take the bullshit pussy dick, whatever the fuck. The joke in its, in its whole unit is, is fucking funny as fuck. Did she steal it? Some of it. Maybe she did. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying every joke hits, but she's going to have one really good yeah. one. What about she's Gatsby? She's there for a reason. I haven't seen her or him. I, I, I guess, yeah, you're right. They're, they're there for a reason, but I don't know. Who do you, yeah, what, well, who are you talking about? Like, who's famous that you don't think is funny? They just said one. Amy Schumer? Oh, Amy Schumer? Yeah. Oh. Maybe she has a team, whatever the fuck. But there's a bit in guess, every special that you're going to be I like, guess it wouldn't be that like, was a good one. It's more not... Not to say that they're not funny. It's just not my style. Not my. Style. Not your style. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, different. That's a yeah. correction. That's yeah. different. I had to. If I had to reword it, then I would Subjective. say it more like that. Yeah. Like anyone that's made it on that kind of a stage, is, they're is funny. There, is there people that you feel that made it in comedy that like shouldn't have? I feel like the go the go to is always Brendan Schaub. But I mean, he well he used his platform. He used platform. But yeah. to be honest with you, some of his bits—that's yeah, what he worked for. He worked for that platform. He got his ass beat for that platform. No, he didn't. He got his ass beat to get his ass beat. Then well, he, he got found his ass the platform beat for money, which he worked for, which he trained. He put himself in that position, regardless if it was nepotism later or because he used his platform. He put himself in that position. Yeah. I, but if you take if you if you listen to everything, there's a bit that's gonna make you at least chuckle. Like, all right, hey, that was good. Does he deserve right. it? Well, That's now, not my. Now totally that I not watch my bowl. things from a new perspective too, because I used to just watch things from not. Trying yeah, to dude, be shut the be be a comedian and listen to a comedian well, talk. I, yeah, there's a lot. I I've seen less comedy ever since I started trying to do comedy. Right. No, listen to more, but listen to everyone. Don't listen to just your right. style. Listen to as much as you can digest. Ryder used to <laughs> send me Brandon Shaw bomb video. <laughs> Ryder used to love to hate on Brendan Shaw. Yeah, he's he's pretty bad, but he, but he's super easy to hate though. He has a platform though, and he has like you know people who were to come see him well, were fans of him, not fans of yeah. comedy. Yeah, that's you know, true. yeah, I get that. I'm not. I'm sure that God fucked me up. Hey, listen, Brendan, if you ever see this, <laughs> let me do so it. your side. Let me do a guest <laughs> yeah. so First of all, what's your number, <laughs> dude? My whole way did the podcast with him. I want, and Oscar keeps asking me to ask Chappelle what happened. Chappelle? Yeah. Lacey. Chappelle Lacey. Yeah. All right. So me and Chappelle Lacey are cool. Oscar keeps wanting me to ask why did he get kicked off T Fat K after Brad Kellen would do that thing. Why? I don't know. I don't want to ask him. Why don't you want to ask? It makes me uncomfortable. Well, that was like two years ago already. So you think it's like a. Yeah, it's time. Oh, uh, dude. Would you, are you curious? Would you be curious? I don't care. I don't even know See, who. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that. Chappelle? Well, I know uh, Chappelle Lacey. I just don't know that that podcast. I've gone down like rabbit holes on YouTube, like comedy beefs. Yeah. It's funny. It's a funny. lot of them start on T-Fat K. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. It's entertaining. There's always going to be beef. jokes beef? How do you feel about that? I've never been accused. Burn him at the stake. But, uh... I mean, it yeah. happens, man. I mean, there's, there's a lot of parallel thinking. There's a lot of, yeah. like, uh... A lot of Multiple premises. discovery... I mean, somebody tried to hit me up. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Pat blew his back out. Oh, yeah. About, um, <laughs> oh, Jay LaFar, he sent me, like, oh, this somebody does this punchline, whatever. But he didn't send me, like, the clip. So I'm there on YouTube. I'm looking at this guy's stuff. I'm not, I'm not finding it. And I was like, so I don't, I don't know. Did he send it to us? Like, hey, do you know about any of this? And like, Davey, he's the hated thief in San Antonio. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You saw that whole thing that yeah, happened with him once. That, that, clap, that clap back was genius, though. Yeah, you, you got him, dog. That you clap got back was genius. He stole that from me. Also, I've seen the guy that made the accusation, like, threaten to, like, shoot up places for nothing. Apparently, yeah, apparently, there's, apparently for real? Yeah. there's more hate on that guy. So I I, Davey was genius from what he said. Davey's... Shout no, out I'm I witnessed it. Like, I'm this isn't, like, I witnessed him do it. I've never met the guy. I met the guy. We met the guy. Yeah. Dirty show. I've had him on my show, and uh, he booked me for one of his shows. I think I already did him at Roscoe's. That got canceled, yeah. And, uh, but I mean, I see him around it. It's fine. Like, what, you have a a stolen joke? No, no, no. How many jokes have you stolen? Zero. (laughs) 
Yeah, Absolutely. I've seen your act. You're right. Absolutely zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But it's all it's all like it's just a long journey, man. And like it, you can't get upset about you know where you are or compare yourself to other people because like nobody has the same uh, situation, the same starting point, the same advantages, disadvantages. So it's just like you just gotta have fun with it, man. Yeah, I hear that. It's starting to happen more. I think uh, I'm getting. Did mad. you have like you said you did have a chip on your shoulder though when you came in, like the just the eagerness or like the? Uh, no, just because. Yeah, I wouldn't say maybe a chip on my shoulder, but I really was like eager to get in certain areas and like I wanna I wanna do that I wanna get in there and I wanna prove I'm funny and I wanna do good. Yeah. And like I've so far I've been pretty good at. I got a few more things I want to check off, but I'm of getting doing what I want to do, and and but I'm st- I'm just gonna like I got goals, but I'm I'm just gonna try and keep grinding, and whatever happens happens. Like I said earlier, yeah, man. Watch every <laughs> special. <laughs> watch every special. No, that that fucks with me. I, now I can I I still watch comedy, but I I don't want something to trigger. Uh, a way of thinking that I'm gonna that. feel like I'm gonna I'm wor- I feel like I'm stealing. It feels like stealing. But I'm saying just listen to what they say. Whoever you don't really think is funny, trust me. Well, I, I that way I, you can learn how to dissect the joke, which will help you well, learn how to write a joke. I will. I, sh- I should say I do watch a lot of comedy because I watch. A, I go to. A Dude, man, homie, bro, we know. Thank you. <laughs> but Appreciate no, it. Um, you made it, kid. Even when when I watch you guys, like I'm. I'm taking, I'm taking shit. notes. <laughs> like I went to, um, I went to the revolver last night just to check it out, just to take notes, see, to see how how it's done. Like, yeah. it is good to hang and watch. It's good, it's to, good watch. to watch. Good to, to watch. learn what to do, not to do situations, yeah. Yeah. stuff yeah. that happens. Because yeah. a, a lot to watch. Yeah, a lot of these mics are just like social hangout mics and stuff. People go up, they do their time, and then they go smoke or do whatever. Hang out with their friends. But like, you, it's it's important to watch, you know, like live comedy, especially like some of the people that like have done it for a while, uh, because it does it does help, dude. Like even like when I did the road with uh, Danny Eagle, hell yeah, went to uh, Padre Allen and hell stuff. Yeah. I've never met uh, Raymond Orta, so I'm watching him. I'm watching how he does it, how he hosts. He hosts the show, opened it up. I, I still watch Danny. Like I've seen Danny's set, like. Oh, oh, tens of times but i still watch him and i kind of like kind of figure out like it helps like figuring out like like uh what mechanics and yeah. what kind of stuff like you and, could yeah dissect the joke and yeah. just whatever you do don't say jesus fuck um uh, yeah 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 yeah, something yeah. Like that. yeah pat uh, still doesn't say it i still don't say <laughs> i'm just trying to give pat work or not get booked by raymond uh, sorry raymond <laughs> no nah, he saw my set he probably won't book me again that's fine <laughs> Like I, I, God damn it! I told the guys like, uh, like, I, cause I, I texted Scott as soon as I got on stage, like, bomb, dude. Cause it was just like, it was just not my crowd. I mean, I had fun, I did all right, but I, I mean, I wouldn't call it like I murdered or whatever. But like, had that been an audition to get the is the grand gig, I wouldn't, I set. wouldn't have got the yeah. gig. You would understand, like, yeah, I wouldn't have got the how, gig. For how sure. many people? Oh, it was a full room, but like there were like older white crowds. There was like uh, it was a memorial. Uh, what, what Never just blamed the crowd. Memorial Juneteenth? Day weekend. Memorial Day. Memorial Day it was weekend. Last month. Uh, so yeah, so it was like just like a, a cruise island crowd. Ah, okay, okay, I got cruise you. Cruise ship crowd. Who do you like? Like, what made? Who was a comedian that made you want to do comedy, or who's your favorite comedian right now, or something? My well, it's kind of cliche, but like, my favorite is Felipe Esparza right now. Like, well, Chappelle, it's Chappelle at the top, but like What's right now, right now, like it's Felipe Esparza. Like, I saw him at the Tobin Center last yeah, time. Yeah. So so oh, you I, were there? I was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, Again? Nah. Really? My parents bought me tickets to a comedy show. It was very sweet. Of Shout me. out MJ, <laughs> Mary Jane, um, NSD. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. No, but I do yeah. like I like uh, Burr, Louis C.K. You know. Okay. Those guys right. kind of more dude. Like, listen to Patrice and listen to like old Opie and Anthony shit. Okay, trust that, me. If you want to find out like real shit, that is the best shit you could look up. You'll get all the end. It's so fucking. That was when radio was see, great. The, the thing is, I've been, a, even though it, I started late, I was really a, a true. I know people say this, but I was a true fan of comedy. Like I grew up, my dad was showing me like Richard Pryor. He yeah. was showing me like Sam Kinison. He was showing me like 
all this. And I was like, you know, a kid and I loved it. We would watch the Bundys. He'd be like, oh, that's Sam Kennison. And mm. so I, I, I've seen a lot of comedy, but I'm definitely going to watch. I keep watching more. But I do like the, the classics. The great. My one of my favorite specials is Delirious. Hell yeah. Yes. Murphy. Yeah. yeah. There's a, there's an infamous uh, Facebook post that the the streets are talking about that you posted one time saying oh. that you're like better than people and stuff. No, do you feel like you're better than people, Rocky? Who are you no. better than? Who are you better than? <laughs> Rocky, <laughs> Angel. You tell me. Angel. Angel. No, no, I just said, Angel. See, because it's kind of that thing. You, I, I posted, Saint Rocky. I posted a real kind of like feeling myself confident post. Were you drunk? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like. So, Those but, drug posts will fucking butt you yeah, in yeah. the ass, man. Yeah, it's probably why I'll never get on. Don't tell. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> let the gun go. <laughs> Talk about it. Talk about it. Nah, get it out. Get it out. Like, I, I confident post. Like I think I'm funny. I'm gonna keep doing this. And like, talk I, that I'm, shit. I'm, I'm trying to like make it like I'm, i want to be as good as i can and, and be good at it like that's it that's it and whatever happens happens but like i'm not gonna also i i feel everybody's like oh it's a struggle to do it i'm like but i also feel this like there's also like a, a an automatic negative connotation like connotation i can't say that word. Connotation? connotation yeah well <laughs> because they, you want to try again or no 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 i'm not gonna try again third time to try again. Yeah. i'm just the list it's weird how you're having a hard work, time with that word because there's zero s's in there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but like okay the, there's an automatic like negative thing about if you're new there's an automatic thing <laughs> Sorry, I, it was I thought about it. I was like, somebody better say it. No, no, no. No, no I, was, I, I literally, before you said it, I was like, which one of the assholes is going to say it? No, dude. Um, well, I'm glad it was Pat. No, man. Well, I'm sorry. It, it was the funniest one that said it. Name so. the episode. There's no S's in it, but do not post that. Make everyone watch to get there. Oh, no, man. Oh. I'm just, I'm so, like, you just, you'll get, to, like, I'm just always thinking of, like, tags and stuff it's it's very it's it's harmful for the relationship too <laughs> <laughs> it's very harmful for my relationship too uh, like, oh, uh, Pat has a speech impediment I, I, embodied that word I can go as early as second grade and like still remember that, that, that was the primary like that was the fucking first time I got made fun of but, for, but honestly uh, dude, I, honestly I do think about. I do think that that will help you that's the, you're literally like the fourth or uh, because Fifth it, person to tell me that because why did you, you put up three of them? Because I, <laughs> I was trying to think it was three or four, it was going from three or f to four. No, you're be, because there's no lessons in three, three, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Cliff didn't tell me the same thing, and um, no, we don't need you to name names, just get well, into it. It's not a bad thing, but I'm just saying, you know, but people, I, when you hear me talk, you know, that's fucking rocky, yeah, fucking, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Have you, you heard of uh, uh, Chris Estrada? Yeah, yeah. That, this fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has. He has, yeah. He, He's got that disease. I, I, like, what do you what do you call it? An impediment. Uh, I mumble. I stutter. It's fine. I'm one of you, man. <laughs> He's an ally. I'm just like you, dog. By the way, what Rock. I was saying earlier is just there's an there shouldn't be an autumn. You should give everybody a chance. Like time shouldn't be a thing. You should like give them a chance because there's an automatic negative to where. They don't even give you a chance to be funny. They're like, how long you been doing it? All right, fuck you. Like, yeah, some people do book like that. And it's like, what? Like, that shouldn't be. I, they, my, in my opinion, since I'm the old fuck that started late. I mean, I, I, I get that. But, like, the whole reason about, like, oh, how long you been doing it? Because they want to know, like, oh, I could get a more seasoned person that understands. Because, like, you're still you Yeah, because on a baby. certain level, still there, it's it. all about the money and the audience, and they paid, give them a show. It's all about, it's always yeah, all yeah. about the audience. It's always about the audience. And uh, that's another thing, going back going back to what I said originally. Get on. No, it's like, I don't think a lot of these shows, they think about the audience. They, they, they think about the dollar. They think they just think about, like, I, it's it, it. nothing cringes me more than when somebody's booking a show, and they're just like, who, whoever responds to this gets on the show. It's like, dog, like, you're just putting a random ass bill together. So just how, do you feel, how do you feel about the, like, random restaurant show with, like, five random... Or, like, we did the, the African-American coffee. 
Yeah, the African American coffee. I, I was I was I was talking to Danny Ingo about this because like there's so many venues popping up now. Like all the open markets are trying to open up like their own venues. What would be beneficial is if like we all just got together and say like, hey, like let's limit the spots, but let's make quality quality, 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 quality. shows. I think that like just because they have a corner and just because you have a PA speaker doesn't mean that like a show should be there. You shouldn't appear be a show that you shouldn't put a show on any everywhere there should be kind of like do you have the lights do you have the setup are, are you just a gorilla like uh taking over uh, like a gr- gorilla comedy show like nobody wants to see that stuff nobody, Debo. No, nobody wants to be surprised by like a comedy show just happening you know <laughs> Debo. what happened you said gorilla i thought of Debo. He said Debo. i mean like <laughs> gorilla warfare man oh jesus i gotta i gotta clip that out no right. that must stay <laughs> But I'm like, I'll fuck with them, because every every day there's something like, yeah, we we, we talk our stuff about Elbow Room, but Elbow Room does have potential. Elbow Room is a no, good it venue. doesn't. No, it does. <laughs> it I've does. done good it, shows it there. It does. It has potential. It has potential. But, for sure. I love, but <laughs> no, it does. I'm any sorry. anywhere with I like just, a, a stage and lights following can make for a good venue. Well, yeah, it's all these it's people that like, it falls in and uh, like that that. It's too, dilu- diluted. it's too diluted, you know. Like you said, it's there's too many, and you, that's why I, I even said that earlier. Like, there's not enough quality. It's too sporadic. But then, people want to create opportunity for themselves and their friends. But th- do you think there's danger in creating your? I mean, like, it is good. It's a double-edged sword because it is good for you to start your own opportunity. Like my first book show was like 12 months in. And I had to book it myself. Yeah. I booked it at uh, Hondro's, and I hosted the show. First show ever doing, hosted it uh, because I created the opportunity and stuff. But, like. Had when, five, did 15. When you, when you like, just go to a restaurant, and like, all right, this is a new comedy spot. It's like, oh, man, like, but it's really not, dude. Like, it's not conducive to a comedy show. Like, yeah, you could stand in the corner and tell your jokes and, like, people, but, like, if the house lights are up, like, 100%, like, there's no spotlight, like, it's just, like... TVs are on. I guess I guess that's the only beneficial for the comic at that point, not, not anybody else for practice, and practice, right? No, it's not beneficial for the comics <laughs> with that. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm just saying, like, too much of that is a bad thing, I think. I mean, like, it should be, like, limited to, like, I, I certain think, spaces. Yeah, no, I, agree. I agree. Because, like, the whole thing is, like... Then we would all support the same rooms or the same area, rather than being like divided. There's not that much of us. We we're we're not like big enough or strong enough to like be so spread out across the city that maybe like Wednesday night should be like, all right, yeah, station. Upstage. I have thought about that. Yeah, like where you get together, like say, hey, I'm doing this on this night. Why the fuck are you doing that? Like, yeah. you're splitting the crowd. Like, rather than like, oh, I'm a, I have a coffee shop in uh, Live Oak at the same time than the coffee shop over here. Like, there's a limited amount of, like, comics. We can't do both. So when you're spreading the room, yeah, like, people might be interested, like, comics might be interested because, like, oh, I don't have to wait on a long list. But also, like, you're taking away, you're spreading the audience. We do create new problems because I have been places where it is a decent mic and it's just like, holy shit, like there's 15 spots and there's 30 people here. Like, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Like, yeah. Uh, but I mean, that's the, that's for the scene to figure out. I mean, like, uh, again, that becomes with like, that's a problem with the inpatients. Like if you don't have the patience, you'll start your own thing and it's good or bad, you're going to start your own thing. And it's either gonna, you know, sink or swim, though. Yeah, hell yeah. But I don't know, man. I feel like this was like an inside baseball thing. This is all yeah, comedy, is all comedy scenes. Really type shit. Of thing. Hell yeah, man. Well, that's that's <laughs> kind of your demographic right now. Okay. You hey, dude, fuck you, man. We, we have, have a million views followers. Then we can talk about. You start to bang on us? How disrespectful! It's you not, come fucking late. No. You're dressed nice, but you come fucking late. <laughs> I don't know. You're wearing corduroy, corduroy pants? Corduroy. Got the Even pants. your shoes, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, you had to come ready. No, nah, you put the effort in. That's fine, man. I wasn't going to wear shorts, dude. That one episode, y'all. They do show a lot of knees, oh man. God. It's weird, but uh, you know, he, just, know. he just woke oh, up. Shit. You legit look like a comedy curtain. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look fly as fuck. 
<laughs> no nah, man. Uh, but that was good. I mean, like, ho- hopefully, like listeners, like, like That's it. the closest you ever get to the big stage. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they last. I think it was good talk because, like I said, you're the people listening are the scene in here. Yeah, I, I, I just, I, I hope like nobody like thinks I'm a fucking. You, you do asshole. think bigger. I do think bigger. Yeah. What do you mean? Because you're like, I hope it, you're like, I hope, yeah, I hope they watch. Came out. I'm like, the people that are I heard watching are letter. local people, like, they're your demographic. Right well, now. no, I think people watch, like, that aren't comics, that aren't, like, I don't know. I would like to think that we have an audience outside of just open Shout out Houston. And, shout out Chris Trevino in Houston. Leaving comments on the page, dog, I see you. I see oh, you. Oh, true. There you go. Shout out Beth. All right. Shout yeah. out, Beth. My bad. Shout out, Victoria. But uh, no, nah, man. Thanks, thanks for coming Old by. Order. Thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate uh, it. Congratulations for doing the headline, uh, the main stage. That's a big thing, man. The big thing in 13 months that is huge. So like, yes, sir. Celebrate yourself on that, you know. And uh, but yeah, man. Uh, what do we, this is gonna go out next week? Probably next week, Friday. Uh, the boys, do the man, homie, bro. Uh, we got Celia, Nikki, and Georgie Rosales. July 5th. July 5th at uh, the 9 o'clock show. We'll be at the Station Comedy Club. A.K.A. Francis Bogside. 1170 East Commerce. San Antonio. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a dirty show, so we're going to say whatever we want. We're going to have fun at it. Let's go. Yeah, Tan Veer is not allowed. Um, Yeah. Tan Veer, sir. July 5th. Tan Tan Veer. Tan Veer. Um, Go check out Tan Veer. (laughs) <laughs> LOL Comedy Club. He's going to be headlining. Shout out Tunveer. Tunveer. Uh, Yo, props on the KT, boy. Yeah, dude. Good Tony. shit. You're awesome, man. Killing it. Uh, yeah, we got the July 5th. And then, um, yeah, something after that. Uh, Jakey5 underscore <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Rocky, you got any plugs? You got anything coming up? Well, you know out where to week? find me <laughs> Friday night now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you can I, plug it if you're gonna be there. Uh, no, I will be there at the we Blind Tiger Friday night. About it. Let's talk about the it. Blind Tiger Friday night. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, check your vids out. <laughs> and uh, no, actually, I think I'm hosting the station next Wednesday. Uh, oh, the Wednesday open mic. Not Hell anymore. Yeah. So I'm trying to <laughs> not anymore. Um, yeah, that's just about that. Uh, follow the Instagram, Rocky Lopez two one zero. How do you feel about Jordan Savai? All right, go. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy. Stop the Asian hate. I got I got an opinion on that. Yeah, sure. what's your opinion? What's your opinion? Yeah, talk about it. Share <laughs> sure. it. Well, he got called a bitch for three reasons. And so by who? By who? By who? Not by not by me, right? Not by you. Not by Scott, right? But, you did, but y'all did laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so what? Podcast. The, you man. talk shit about Rocky, and I laughed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You say something funny, I fucking laugh. You play music, I dance. Yeah. What do you want? Learn how that happens, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go laughing again. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. I mean, it, all fairness, like, I have nothing against the Tiger. It's a great room. I'm never going to change my opinion on the room itself. But the Shout dra- out, Jeffy. The drama behind that is just like... Love uh, you, Jeff. Love you, Mel. Love you, Randy. But we're at the, yeah. we're Jeff at the stage. Randy. Oh, are you done with your plugs? No, yeah, I'm done with my plug. Yeah. Did you want to get into the Tiger? If stuff? you want me to get into it, I'll get into you're, it. You're more than welcome, dude. Finish but strong, the, dog. The Jordan stuff? Oh, just the Tiger. Whatever your opinion on the Tiger. Oh, no, no I, I like the Tiger. Um, he gave me, I got an opportunity. Um, honestly, when the shit hit the fan, it was like, oh, fuck, the shit hit the fan. But that's how I got my foot in. It opened up opportunity for me. So it was a love hate thing for me because I went in there trying to get my opportunity. And, like, it was like, you have to prove yourself. You have to prove you're funny. I didn't have to do dojo, but it it was still kind of, like, a, not around that time, but they started telling me about dojo. I said, how do I get in? How do I do this? Like, oh, we got to do dojo. And I started learning about that. But then they said, I, um, just come, support, help turn the room. And I had to, like, kind of like, a, I wouldn't call it hazing, but I went, I supported, I did my thing, and I got an opportunity there. Shit hit the fan. I got my opportunity there. And um, I think Jay, I'm cool with Jay, kind of like with, on the same page with Jacob, like I think things could have been handled handled differently on both sides. And he said that Asian Trump, dude, on both sides. There's <laughs> good people on both sides. No, he said that really. It's, a, it's one Andrew. sided, dude. Well, the, well you're, you have a different situation, and then er, then everybody else. I can't speak for your situation, but I was there for some of the shit. I was there 
for I literally well actually I wasn't I was there but I wasn't in the room for the Rosales shit. I saw them storming out. I was like everything cool. They're like fuck no, and they left. <laughs> <laughs> but, Shout out Nikki and George. And then July I remember 5th. you told me about the stuff that happened with y'all, and I, I, I was just like, holy shit! And I kind of was there to, for some of that, and to see that, and I was like, well, that sucks. I, I wish it wasn't like that. I wish we were all cool. It's still a good time. It's still fun. But it's just like you said. You touched on it earlier too. Like certain people, like just, for me, it's kind of like an ego thing. Like you have these people below you, and and then they rise up and they get to a certain point, and then they. They butt heads and mm-hmm. and shit happens yeah. and there's falling out. I mean, it is what it is, man. Get stage time wherever you can. Uh, but my, my beef is with the administration and not the building itself. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, uh, like and subscribe on the YouTube. Uh, July 5th, we'll be at the station, the Dirty Show. Uh, I will be July 6th. I'll be in New Braunfels at Silver Spoon doing a Silver Spoon show. Uh, and then I will announce this, or I'm announcing it now, but I'll let you know when the ticket leads drop. Uh, July 12th, 9 p.m., we're doing another hot damn comedy show. I got uh, Corbin Lee Master, which opens up for um, Mark Norman, a bunch of places. I got uh, Trish Smart, which is an international touring comedian. Uh, Jack Neal out of Austin, New Braunfels area, fucking solid guy. Ellis H. Uh, from Austin. Mike Shroom from Houston. Uh, it's going to be a hot damn comedy show at the station, Comedy la- uh, comedy Club, <laughs> Comedy Lounge, uh, Station Comedy Club, July 12th, 9 p.m. Uh, that's the big show. And uh, yeah, man, uh, barbacoacore.com, at your homie Pat, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.